he's, he's kind of has a goal of being a, an on-court coach. Have you seen any shades of that from him yet? Oh, yeah, definitely just kind of when you know, our coach one knows that when he's getting a set real quick, he definitely goes out there, calls out the sets, and we need to get him uh, into our positions out there. So he definitely become more of a leader, coach on the court for sure. Glenn, I know uh, Gerald's point total from like last game sticks out, but through these first two games, like what has he tried to teach some of the younger guards so far about adjusting to the college game, or what have you learned from him so far? Uh, probably just you go out there and play your game. You know, you have an overall game plan. Just you go out there and play your game. You know how to play basketball. You make sure you get into the right spots and everything. So you just kind of let your game play and not, not to get too caught up in just the actual game. Just go out there and you know, know how to play basketball for sure. Do you feel like he's taking like an active part in that? Like he's made it a point to, to teach you guys as much as he can so far and to just be there for you when you need it? Yeah, definitely. I think he's probably one of the guys that probably helped me the most from a leadership standpoint when I get here. Like if I mess up, probably the first guy just tell me. Hey, don't worry about it. Move on to the next play. So definitely for sure. What's what's the emphasis been this week after Monday night and leading up to tomorrow night? Is there one area of the game you're, you guys really want to emphasize tomorrow night? Uh, probably closing games. We watched film on that yesterday because in Indianapolis we kind of let them come back a little bit, a little bit too close. And then Vermont, we just kind of work on kind of just come back later out there on the court in the last five minutes. So we're really watching film and just kind of and situational type stuff out there. What does Coach tell you about closing? We asked him about it last week, but mm -hmm. what, what, what does he say is the key to, to doing that? Uh, just being more focused, really just kind of know at the time out what he wants out there on the court, make sure that everybody's in the right spots, what time we should go on the shot clock, so little things, just yeah. attention to those things in detail. <clears throat> what has Coach said about the number of free throws you guys have shot us at backcourt? Yeah, he said we need definitely need to get to the line a lot more for sure. The guys need to be a lot more aggressive and just not worry about shooting three ball. You know we can't shoot the ball pretty well. He really focus on getting more downhill and just kind of getting to the line and make sure that the uh, team gets in foul trouble. For you in particular, what do you think you could do to draw more? Uh, I definitely can get off, come out the picks, kind of maybe not survey as much and get attacked downhill. I went my first step and I just kind of like the path to look to be a little bit assertive, more assertive about there on the court for sure. Has he pointed out some maybe some instances from the last two games that like you could have done something maybe a little bit different on film or anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched one with Coach Howard uh, over the last two games, just clicking over things. Just showing me where I could have attacked right there. I could have just, just took the ball one more dribble and got to the hoop. So a little thing like that. Have you guys talked much about three point shooting? Whether it's you guys shooting it or, or defending your opponents? I mean, it seems like you guys are shooting it pretty well to start. Mm -hmm. Is that where you think you guys are and what this team is, or, or has that been sort of a? Yeah, I thought we have put some pretty good shooters in me, me and Legero. And even though KJ hadn't shoot the ball that well in past good game, you know he's a really good shooter. So I feel like we have some really capable. Really good three point shooters on this team for sure. Coach seem happy with the number of shots and the selection mm -hmm. and all yeah, that. Exactly. Stuff. I think even the, some of the bad shots are kind of good shots yeah. in a way. So I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job with the shot selection out there. You're averaging an impressive seven assists per game. Does that surprise you at all? And is that a number obviously you want to keep up moving forward? Uh, kind of surprised me a little bit, but not not as much because I know I'm playing with better better bigs out there in the court. We can kind of just finish the ball right when you get it to them. So that helps out a lot, but definitely. I like to make sure that, not as well as I'm getting my own, make sure that the team is winning out there on the court. And if they need me to go out there and get more assists or get more points, I'm going to do that. So definitely do the, whatever I can to help the team win. Do you feel like that's where most of your assists come from? Just kind of throwing it up into the middle of those big guys? Yeah, just to dope, really just throwing it wherever. Super high on the back where I know he's got super long arms. He's crazy that lets him. He can go get wherever I throw it. So that kind of helps out a lot. What did you see from Diedrich the last couple of days? Obviously, that Monday night was not how he wants to play. Mm -hmm. um, how have you seen him respond? And has he put it behind him? Is he over it? Or? Yeah, Dave, I think right after the game, he put it behind him. Mm -hmm. Because I know that don't worry about it. Move on to the next game. We got practice the next day. He's going out there playing the practice like he usually does. He's going through scoring, passing the ball really well, hitting me on the practice. It just really just doesn't seem like the game really affected him at all. Got time for one more, guys. Is this kind of is that kind of the mindset of this team? Kind of how first game is you and Devon kind of standing up against Michigan State, and last game is Lucero going off for thirty two. Is that kind of an unselfish mindset that kind of anybody can have have a great night? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we're just like the I think the whole theme of this team is being super deep out there on the court. I feel like anybody from me, Devon, DJ, Go, Lucero, all can get all capable of scoring twenty five to thirty points a game. So I feel like the team, about the other team, is going to have a tough time just trying to. They can really want to stop that night because the other guy can get off or however many he wants. Play rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, definitely <laughs> probably do that.